EA Sports within the game. Football League on EA Sports. Coming up, it's the penultimate game of the NFL calendar. AFC versus NFC in the NFL Pro Bowl game. Between the AFC and the NFC Pro Bowl team. Settle in for an entertaining four quarters. The AFC-NFC Pro Bowl underway from Las Vegas. They had no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So out comes the NFC for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a Heisman runner-up during his college days. It's the versatile Jalen Hurts. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. Here's a carry for Saquon Barkley and the Giants. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Throwing his hurts. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Well, that one hurts. I mean, it was third down, of course, but now the penalty, and we're back to first down. Yeah, it hurts momentum in a big way, and they built that up here in the early going. Now, that leaves the opposition with a first down. That's a mistake you don't want to make at this point in the game. Touchdown! A.J. Brown, 56 yards. And the NFC has taken the early lead. So the NFC with our first touchdown of the game. And, of course, we'll probably see some offense in this one. I don't know, though, that we'll see what we saw in 2013 when the NFC posted 62 points. You talk about pyrotechnics. That was crazy, even for a Pro Bowl. 62 points. I think you wore out your voice in that one, talking about all the touchdowns that were scored. I would love to see 63 or more, though, I got to tell you. All about offense in this thing. Pro Bowl offense. Let's go. Jason Myers now for the extra point. His kick is good, and the NFC goes up 7-0. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown.
for the touchdown. Here's Myers to boot it away. Taken in at the three. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So here comes the AFC for their opening drive. As we get a peek at the former Red Raider and 10th pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. And simply put, for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create, find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. Mahomes throw into the hands of Andrews. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. The throw here to Andrews, the tight end. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, Charles, look, and this is probably a harbinger of things to come. He's got such trust in his tight end, and they're on back-to-back -back plays. We're seeing that on display. And when they have that kind of trust, they're not as worried about what the coverage is because they feel like they know each other so well. They'll make the subtle move downfield, and the ball will end up in the right spot. And by the way, partner, what's harbinger mean? Help me out. Well, you're the one that taught me that a few years ago, so I'll have to lean on you for that. I just, I'm just hoping it fit into the sentence correctly. I must have got it from my word of the day calendar on my desk. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. He's got a man complete. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Chubb will get the call, running left. Tackled by Nick Bosa of the 49ers. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now here's Mahomes. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Mahomes now to throw. Swings it to Andrews, and it's complete. The tight end has it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. Now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Here's Jacobs. They're only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Defensively, pretty good start there when their back's against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. Here's second and goal operating from the eight yard line. One more time with Jacobs. 
showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running. And that is caught for an AFC touchdown. Devontae Adams from six yards away. And the AFC is an extra point away from tying this game up. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Justin Tucker for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And Devontae Adams able to finish things with a touchdown reception. Team's had it. Each team has scored. 7 7 here as the kick's away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25 yard line. So now we'll get our second look in this game at the NFC offense. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's a one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 27, Hurts. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 18 yards the gain for number 18. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. A swift move and then tackled just on the other side of midfield. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. That tackle by Jeffrey Simmons. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. And some secondary help here for the defense and the nickel on third and long. Here's Hurts to throw. And that is incomplete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. 
Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the AFC will take over first and ten. So now the AFC offense here coming back out for their second drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs, and he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Over the middle complete. It's Jacobs. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Here's Tommy Townsend on to punt. This is fielded at the 27. Dancing away at the 35. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Just a net of 34 there following a punt of 44 yards. And the NFC will take over first and 10. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And he's across the 40. Three extra yards to the 43. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Throwing on second and three. Hurts. Justin Jefferson bringing in the slam. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They go play action with Hurts. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. I did like his decision-making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. This one goes out wide for Barkley. Jukes by again, and he'll be brought down at the 27. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. But first down, Hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. A 
put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Frees up your guys elsewhere. Second and 10 now from the 27. Hurt sets up to throw it. This pass complete to McLaurin going across the middle. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. A handoff, Barkley running left. And he'll be taken down well behind the line, and I think he might have just given those four yards right back. It's a loss of four. Now third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. Hurts. Now they go screen. It's complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that could be one of those turning point plays in a ball game. A field goal gets you the lead here. But they want to make a statement and get six points. And they're certainly going to get that opportunity as they get the conversion and set up first and goal. From the gun, it's Hurts. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, NFC. Terry McLaurin from three yards out. And the NFC has taken the lead. And there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Now Myers for the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. A 10-play drive that time, and it's finished off by a Terry McLaurin touchdown. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. No run back here for Duvernay. Touchback out to the 25. The AFC offensive unit getting set to take over. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now? Is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. 
And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one goes for 24 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Now Chubb running right. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. They'll go option to the short side. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. That'll wind up as a loss on the play. So now they're staring at a third down and 12. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives, much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're going to get the football back again. Here's Tommy Townsend now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The NFC about ready to set up shop offensively. Well, the football changing hands here and as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The last run got six, now second and four. Back to throw here. Danson hurts, fumbles it. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Now back to throw. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. And partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. Now Hill to return it. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And they will take over first and 10. The AFC offense set to take their next drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, 
They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. They go with Chubb on second down. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. The offense on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing now is Mahomes. And Diggs has it. And he's down into the red zone at the 16 after a gain of 16. First and 10. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Here's Jacobs from the gun. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Back to the ground. This time it's Chubb. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled them up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that is caught for an AFC touchdown. Devontae Adams. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the AFC is an extra point away from tying this game up. Well, only the two catches for him thus far, CD, but both of them have resulted in touchdowns. And I think he's on the bench right now, Brandon, smiling at his position coach and telling him, all those times you talked to us about efficiency, I'm living it right now. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And Devontae Adams able to finish things with a touchdown reception. Tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. 
And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Throwing from the gun. It's Hurts. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball has squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands. Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? So they keep the ball, but work to do on second and long. They'll look to throw. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. And this one right back into the hands of Jefferson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They're able to convert with a gain of four. That time the conversion comes courtesy of the RPO. And know what it did? It moved the sticks. Nice pickup on third down. Even better decision. First and 10, it's Hurts. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. To throw once more on second and 10. Hurts. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. On the draw, it's Pollard. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. They'll get ten there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. A bold play call there on third down, and they almost picked it up. They almost got there, as you just noted. Brings up fourth and inches. And you know what I'm a big advocate of if you're going to go for it here, and I think that they should? Quarterback sneak. Pick up the first down, get a fresh set, and then go for the end zone. Out is Myers for the Seahawk field goal. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. 
And that is no good. He gave it a good run. That wasn't more than a foot or so wide to the left. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. The AFC about ready to take over on offense. And the offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. 44 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And again, it's Chubb. And he'll get it down inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. A give running right is Chubb. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. This offense so far on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and six to throw. It's Mahomes. He hits Adams complete. Touchdown. Devontae Adams on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns as they have taken the lead. So not only is that his third touchdown catch of the game, he's done it here in the first half. I'm not sure defensively what they're going to come up with to slow him down because already we're seeing him run past, over, through guys in order to make these catches. And being able to try and shut him down at this stage of the game, it's going to take a lot of effort. So maybe it'll open things up for some other people. Well, they better figure something out and soon. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is now 21-14. A drive there of just four plays, and Devontae Adams able to finish things with a touchdown reception. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Here now the NFC to take over on offense. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit and then tonight and see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Kind of picked themselves up from that one. 
That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Good defensive call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route. And he was right there ready to provide a hit that prevents him from adding another catch to his big start. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's going deep for Brown. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Pat Sertan. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that. But I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. Mahomes in the AFC now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that is incomplete. The secondary has been roasted in this first half, and they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back, but that's one step in the proper direction. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Mahomes going to throw. This one caught by his tight end, Andrews. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. little surprise here on third and one. Try to run for it with Jacobs. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. They will run the draw with Jacobs. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. Forced out to his left. He's got the hookup with Diggs. 
And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open? And when he did, he put it on him for a big play and a first down. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now Mahomes. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. They'll set up a throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Andrews. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive, but right now they need five yards on this third down try. Jacobs going to try the middle, and he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. The offense set to take over again. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal is not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Second and ten. They're going to look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. My man's getting a little loose with the football there, right? Interception before, almost had one here. He's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. And this offense on third down today, they've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and ten. They'll look to throw here. Open man lamb, it's complete. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw again. 
Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. They'll look to throw again. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time, but nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Back to throw. And he is in. Touchdown, NFC. Jalen Hurts taking it in from two yards out. And the NFC just an extra point away from tying up this game. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've seen with these offenses. <laughs> yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. The extra point now coming from Myers. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. The last time out, they had that long 50 plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay. Do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going, and then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain, so he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. On third down, here comes Jacobs. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Brent, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. It just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. 
Oh, trying to get that to Adams, but that's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner, and he's going to bring this one back for an NFC touchdown. Well, the offense, they had really not been able to mount anything yet on that drive, and the defense made sure they couldn't mount anything. The interception and the return adding six to the scoreboard. And that's no small return for a linebacker partner. He took matters into his own hands and his legs on that pick. And once he had it, I don't think anyone on the field could have stopped him. Now Myers for the extra point. And it's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. Get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Marching back onto the field now, Devontae Adams and company getting set to go. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that, definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second. And this will be caught at the 30. And he'll be brought down at the 27. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside. And he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. They'll go left side on the ground with Chubb. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. That's a nice job there, foiling what all offenses try to do, which is control the defensive end in the running game. They want to get to the outside. And if he keeps himself free, stays on his feet, he can make a play just as he did there. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's got his man, it's Andrews. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Now here's Mahomes. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Now the NFC going to call the first of their three timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Now Justin Tucker's out to try the field goal. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. Tucker's kick is good, and that'll bring him back within four. So 
So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Tucker now following the main field goal set to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The NFC offense heading back onto the field. And that last touchdown drive, a good mix of pass and run. Defensively, they just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well where you're guessing and guessing wrong play after play. So what you need is someone on the defensive side of the ball to make a big play. Throw that balance out of whack. That's what you're looking for now. Not worrying so much about guessing what the play call is. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Hurd's going to keep it again. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. Now the AFC going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. They'll try the option on third down. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner, Tress Way, on to punt the football. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Here's Hill on the return. That'll go as a 39-yard punt. Give him nine on the return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and ten. Out comes Devontae Adams in the offense for their next drive. He'll try to generate some more steam on offense down to the scoreboard second quarter. Not necessarily his fault, but he's always a guy they want to get extra involved. Keep finding ways for him to get the football. Keep force feeding him in that way. Get to the half. Reset, you know, kind of reboot. Start over again to try and erase the other things that have them down on the scoreboard. They'll be looking for a little more juice here in the second quarter before they do hit that halftime locker room. Three yards remain for second down. Mahomes now to throw. Trying to get it to Adams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Yeah, yeah, we dominate today. So a big return there, Charles, on what was a pretty dangerous throw to the outside. It sure was, Brandon. That's the risk you run on a throw like this. If it's intercepted, a lot of times this is a pick six. So good hustle to get back and get him down. But boy, that's a throw you've really got to be sure of if you're going to work the perimeter of the field. Let's go now. 
They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And that nearly trouble, but it's incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it. And it'll be second down. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger gain? An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing his hurts. This one brought in by Jefferson. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Now a timeout called with three seconds to go. And, of course, they're in field goal range in the final seconds of this first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. Myers' kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we have come upon halftime of this Pro Bowl with the NFC on top of the AFC. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. These offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? Duvernay now going to bring it out. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Marching back onto the field now, Devontae Adams and company getting set to go. So far, he has the trio of touchdowns. Obviously, it's been a pretty good game for him. So if this were hockey, they'd be throwing their hats out on the ice for the hat trick, right? I'm not sure exactly what you do in the NFL, except applaud and continue to hope you see a little bit more of this. What a tremendous game. You want to start a new tradition? What can we throw on the field? I don't know. We'll throw we'll your mic out there. <laughs> a lot of fans would like that. <laughs> Cut his mic off. Three touchdowns so far. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 68 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. To back good plays have him on the move on first down he'll drop to throw it's hill complete and he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds it'll be a gain of five and that's going to bring up second down never make the mistake that the slot receivers especially the little guys like we're watching here are just quicker than fast a lot of them combine quickness and speed and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there To throw again on second down. Mahomes. And he wisely will throw that one away. 
And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy who was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They go up the middle with Chubb. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. now on first down over the middle complete that's Jacobs down inside the 10 touchdown Josh Jacobs 28 yards and the AFC is an extra point away from tying this game up getting your back involved what's the importance there in the passing game well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him and you get him into space which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his head Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Tucker now to add the point after. And that will tie our game here in the third quarter. So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with an AFC touchdown. the kicks away from a couple yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone and ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23 now the NFC heading out for their first drive of the second half their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. Hurts throw pulled in by Kittle. Let's just make this one simple. Could he be any more open than he was on that play? Yeah, they lost him going to the outside. Hard to believe because you go through your accounting on each and every defensive snap. Who's got who, what, what defense you're in. That was totally a blown coverage. From the 25 on second down, Hurts. Again to the big tight end, George Kittle. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. A 
A first down carry for Barkley. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Quinnen Williams so hard to block, and he shows it that time, making the tackle for loss. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Here's Hurts to throw. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and an AFC touchdown. They partner this defense now with multiple interceptions in this game, but this time they say turnabout is fair play because remember, they had a pick six on the other side, and now they get a pick six of their own. Yeah, they actually added to some of their nice play throughout this ball game. A good effort by them to secure another interception on this one. A better effort to take it all the way back for six. And how about an exceptional effort to match their opposition's pick six from earlier in this game? Tucker with the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The NFC about ready to set up shop offensively. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field, you know. And Hurts is intercepted, his third of the game. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and an AFC touchdown. Well, Charles, just some visibly frustrated players and coaches on that sideline right now because those halftime adjustments didn't work. The turnover problems continuing here in the second half, and the defense now sitting pretty comfortably as a result of that pick six. Hey, that's a great observation, too, Brandon, because they did make adjustments at halftime. But how about this other group staying a step ahead despite whatever happened in that other locker room? No surprise they're leading, and it's appropriate that those defenders get to add to the lead directly. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taking it about the one. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. This is it. This is it. The offense for the NFC back out there. Now they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Yeah, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. 
they'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Now an option play on second down. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Give him four yards as he does it himself, and it's a first down. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Up the middle with Barkley. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Like, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Here's second and ten. They'll run the option left. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Pert sets up to throw it. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Here's Tressway now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the AFC will have it first and 10 deep in their own territory. The AFC offense making their way back out. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. He'll look to throw. And that'll be caught by the big tight end, Andrews. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. They'll get this to about the 38. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. 
Looking to throw. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Aaron Donald showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. Now, how about that play right there? Party, remember I told you about the home run hitter theory that someone told me years ago? What's that? Meaning a guy who hits home runs in the major leagues, go back and trace what he did all the way growing up, probably hit home runs at every level. That's just who he is. Well, this guy sacked people all during the regular season. Why wouldn't he do the same thing here at the Pro Bowl? Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack from Mahomes and company. They'll drop the throw. Diggs crossing the field and bringing it in. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll set up to throw. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped them there, but not to be. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. They complete it to Hill. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back, and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. Mahomes now on first down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in, second down. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. Throwing is Mahomes on third. He's got it complete to Diggs right side. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That'll put him over 150 yards receiving now. Quite a ball game and a first down. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now, he has kept the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. That whole thing was thrown off track thanks to the defense of Fred Warner. Really nice play. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Up the middle, it's Chubb, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. 
That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. I think it might be time to move to a different section of the playbook there because back-to-back -back runs, both for loss. Now they have third and long coming up. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. Out route to Hill complete. And they'll get to him short of the first down at about the 16. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. And that big game may just change the thought process here on fourth down. I think in the red zone, they might now consider going for it on fourth down. for it. Here's Chubb. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. They were certainly in field goal range, opted to go for it. Hey, they were able to pick it up. Yeah, you're exactly right about that, but look at it this way. The kicker had missed one before, so they decided to stay out and go for it, and it worked. But now, just one missed field goal and you're not trusting him? He'll be visiting a team psychiatrist this week because he's going to want some answers about why they wouldn't put him back out on the field. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that is caught for an AFC touchdown. Mahomes finding Tyreek Hill as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Tucker now for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. And what a draw. 16 plays all told. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. But now this offense comes back out onto the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against the front that's prepared for him to try and take off. Break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. 
They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. But these guys got to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage will be found. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Hurts. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Roquan Smith, and he'll get this back down to about the 12-yard line. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. So after the INT, here's Mahomes, and he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago, followed up with another nice one here, and before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. They'll run with Chubb, and he is into the end zone for an AFC touchdown. Nick Chubb taking it in from two yards out, and the AFC takes advantage of the interception, and they turn it into six. So they're able to capitalize there on the short field, and that might prove to be the score that turns out the lights. The party's over. Oh, sorry about that. That's an old reference there, folks. But, yeah, they've been the better of the two teams by far. And that's great complimentary football right there. Defense gets the turnover, sets up the short field, and the offense goes right out and scores to open up a pretty sizable lead. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And that'll increase their lead to 28. They have the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Here now the NFC to take over on offense. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. On second and seven, Hurts. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And Hurts able to show off some of that elusiveness as he slides to the ground there and in the process picks up the first down. 
A nice pick up there, 10 yards. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they've wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots, and right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Back to throw here. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment. Hurts fumbles it. And that's picked up by the AFC. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. The AFC set to take over on offense. And it's great to see the Stars all out in one place. But in terms of football, what's really great to see is a very entertaining Pro Bowl as we are tied in the fourth quarter. And how many of these guys thought going into this game, after a pretty easy week heading into it, that the pressure would ratchet up now and someone has to make a play, which means someone will have a play made against them and not have to live with that for the rest of the year. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. To throw, it's Mahomes. Blitz coming and down he goes. They bring the safety on the blitz and he busts through to drop it for an eight yard loss. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack from Mahomes and company. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Well, that's complete to the fullback, Ricard. And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. And with that pass CD, he's now over 400 yards in the game. And even in a pass first league, that is still a tough benchmark to hit. And all week leading up to this one, all we read, heard about was the confidence he had that he could put up big numbers. Kudos to him for coming out here with that belief in himself and for making it happen. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The NFC about ready to set up shop offensively. 
where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. So now factoring in the face mask, here's first and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And boy, another ill-advised throw there as that will wind up incomplete. This has obviously been a bad loss, but one of the few things they can still do is try and throw the ball all the way to the end zone and get some points on the board so they're not shut out over the final two quarters of this game. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now back to throw. Hurts fumbles it. And that's picked up by the AFC. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. Hey, I'm all about defense forcing plays and, and, and getting takeaways. But an interception and two fumbles in their last three offensive possessions. Time to readjust. <laughs> yeah, they, you, you can't just give all the credit to the defense on that. They've got to look in the mirror and take a blame themselves and figure out how to not do it anymore. And Chubble try the middle here. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Joel Batonio, one of the steals of the 14 draft, the culprit there. Chubble get the call, running left. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. Well, they certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football. So, to me, this seems like a case of just kind of taking their medicine there, run the ball, see if they could pick up something. Instead, they were throwing for a loss. punt team out there now as the drive goes backwards so he's on to punt it away this is away but boy headed straight for the sidelines here now the NFC to take over on offense well this game it has had no shortage of offense they've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side Charles they just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. 23 yards on the tuck and run. 
At least this time he's getting hit after positive play for his offense. The pressure was coming through yet again, but he certainly didn't stick around for the sack on this occasion. Found an escape route and ended up getting the first down before taking the hit. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Being chased out left. And they'll work this down inside the 30. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit, they recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts, quick slant to Brown. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the cover just behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. Second and five. Here's the option play now to the left. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. Considering they've seen him have some big gains against him throughout this game, that's got to feel like a measure of revenge as they trap him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, and a loose football, and that's picked up by the AFC, and he returns it here to his own 18-yard line. And now three drives, three fumbles. What's amazing about it is when we go around and watch practices, how many times do we see them put that sleeve over a football now to make it more slippery, yeah, slippery. and hard to handle? It's almost like they're playing with that sleeve on the ball right now. Was it three drives? Yep. Three, three fumbles? Three fumbles. It's time to change our luck some way, somehow. Focus, concentration, you'll hear those words on the bench in a big way right now. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Here's second and nine. Just a yard on that last run. And again, it's Chubb. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. Oh, the slant connects with Devontae Adams. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game. And a first down on that last catch as well. There's a beautiful throw there, and he's been sensational the entire game, moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. 
but you and I have been around this league a long time, and every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I'd want him out. They tend to leave him in. And a six-yard game gets him right around the 43. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's Chubb on the read option. And he'll be tackled at the 45 following a gain of just two. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On play action, it's Mahomes. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way and worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Handoff comes to Chubb. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 108 yards rushing for him now as he continues to lead the way for the AFC. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Chubb on the read option. Tackled by Nick Bosa of the 49ers. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. They go with Chubb on second down. They find some open field here. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Brendan, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission. Uh, think you took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They run it again with Chubb. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long, he's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. A give. This is Chubb. 
And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. So, Charles, final thoughts on this AFC victory? Bottom line, nobody appeared to be seriously hurt. That's the first thing we look for in this game. Well played, a lot of fun, a lot of excitement. I think that everyone's going to go home pretty happy, especially the AFC since they won the game. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gawton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everybody.